Can you explain why collaboration in the air transport industry is more important today? So um, last year we processed 4 billion passengers and, and that's expected to double in 20 years, right? The only way we're going to survive is to radically change how we um, coordinate across the complicated ecosystem of stakeholders um, with technology and the secure exchange of accurate and real-time information. Sounds like security is a big part here. With security, a big word is also blockchain. So what does blockchain have to do with here? So with the blockchain, we can create a single source of truth that's shared and trusted in a decentralized way, right? And that means that, that no, no single entity owns or controls all the data. Um, but it is a young technology, and we still have to prove it. Um, so we've been exploring um, the blockchain for a single version of flight information across airports and airlines. And we're launching an industry sandbox to um, continue to explore these use cases and prove or disprove whether the blockchain is really a fad or it's real. Okay, so flight delays can make for an unpleasant passenger experience. How can collaboration help here? So th there are elements that are outside of our control, like the weather, but many delays are the result of people like crew or passengers or things like bags not being at the right place at the right time, largely through less than optimal coordination. So creating a social um, consciousness with technology empowers everybody to react faster and be more proactive in ensuring that great passenger experience. Is there any way to predict the disruption and avoid these negative effects? So what we've discovered with, with the right data, we can predict disruption, um, but the prediction is the easy part. The, the, the bigger challenge is how do you transform the business processes um, and the culture to be adaptive and data-driven, uh, right? So if we have a crystal ball that says something bad's gonna happen in the future, right, who, who should know that? And how should everybody be behave differently in response, right? So, so you need that horizontal connectivity um, to, to ensure that everybody's aware of what's coming and, and that there's a, a way to coordinate the staff um, to compensate for that. And there are a lot of different roles and people around the airport. How will we be able to give the correct information to the correct people? So the, um, the key is, is in empowering the staff with uh, the, the data that's accessible through hands-free technology, whether it be smart watches, smart glasses, um, smart earbuds, um, with um, using artificial intelligence to create conversational user interfaces so that it can get uh, the answers they need, they can get things done without having to search through applications um, you know, or screens.